Get ready for the top 10 things to do in Jaipur, India, as we explore ancient forts. I think it's two or 300 years old, is what he said, maybe older. Bustling markets. I got perfume. I'm not a perfume wearer, but it's all natural, so now I am. <laughs> Delicious street foods and indulge our senses in stunningly vibrant culture. So let's get started. All right, so this is one of the main attractions here in Jaipur. It's called Amber Forts, and you have to stop, wait for that to go by. We have to stop, take a picture, and get all the views from down below, but let's go to the top and see what this thing looks like. The Amber Fort is one of the most majestic forts in Jaipur. Built in the 16th century, the fort is made up of red sandstone and marble and is located on a hilltop overlooking the city of Mauta Lake. The fort is a perfect example of the fusion of Hindu and Mughal architecture and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that cannot be missed. So we're inside Amber Fort and this fort is surrounded by the Great, great Wall of Jaipur. So basically, it's strategically placed here because there are mountains on each side so they built the first line of defense there. The enemy can only really be coming from right there and they have all these different lines of defenses so it's really like people can't get in. At the fort you can explore the various palaces and temples, admire the intricate carvings and paintings, and learn about the history and culture of Rajasthan. You can also take in a panoramic view of the surrounding hills and lakes. To reach the fort, you can either take a car or auto to the parking lot just below the entrance or climb the many stairs from the top of the main road. The fort is open from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. and the entry fee is 50 rupees for Indian nationals and 550 rupees for foreigners. We recommend spending at least two to three hours at the fort to fully appreciate its beauty. Next up is the Hawa Mahal, or also known as the Palace of Winds. The Hawa Mahal is one of the most iconic landmarks of Jaipur. Built in 1799, the palace is a five-story building made up of red and pink sandstone. It has 953 small windows, or what the locals call jarukas, which are decorated with beautiful latticework to allow cool air to flow through the palace, hence the name Hawa Mahal. The palace was built for the royal ladies to observe the daily life of the city without being seen by the public. If you're interested in learning more about its history, there's a small museum inside, but we recommend crossing the street and climbing up the stairs to the rooftop of the Tattoo Cafe instead. It's here that you can capture beautiful views from above and take in some amazing pictures while you sip on a cup of coffee. The palace is open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and the entry fee is 50 rupees for locals and 200 rupees for foreigners. In our opinion, the best time to visit the Hawa Mahal is at the end of the day when the temperatures are cool and the sun begins to set behind it. The city palace is a magnificent palace complex in the heart of Jaipur, built in the 18th century. The complex comprises several palaces, courtyards, gardens, and museums, and is a unique example of the fusion of Rajasthani, Mughal, and European architecture. The city palace has several buildings, including the Chandra Mahal, Mubarak Mahal, and Divanika. The Chandra Mahal is the most significant building in the complex, and even today is still the residence of the royal family. The palace complex also has several courtyards, including the Pritam Nivas Chok, which has four gates that represent the seasons and Hindu gods. The courtyard is decorated with stunning works of art. The city palace is open from 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m., and the entry fee is 200 rupees for locals and 700 rupees for foreigners. The palace also has audio guides and guided tours available for an additional fee. But we booked our tour with a locally licensed tour guide named Bawani, who was amazing. We'll link his information below in the notes. The best time to visit the palace is in the morning when it's less crowded and the light is perfect for photos. We would recommend spending about one to two hours in the city palace to see everything it has to offer. Next up is the Jantar Mantar. This is a unique observatory in Jaipur, built in the 18th century. The observatory has several ancient instruments for measuring time, predicting eclipses, and observing the stars and planets. The observatory is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is one of the largest and most preserved observatories in the world. This place is wild. It is so cool. It's 
ancient. I think it's two or three hundred years old is what he said, maybe older. You cannot do this without a guide because you'd have no idea what these mean. There's just so much to see, so much to learn. Let's go see what else we got in store. Absolutely. The Jantar has several unique instruments, but what it's most known for is the Samret Yantra, which is the world's largest sundial. And let me tell you, it's massive. The Jantra Mantra is open from 9 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. and the entry fee is 50 rupees for locals and 200 rupees for foreigners. The observatory also has audio guides and guided tours for an additional fee. The best time to visit the observatory is in the morning when the sun is not too harsh and you should probably expect about one to one and a half hours there to really take in everything. Jaipur is known for its vibrant bazaars where you can shop for local crafts, textiles, and souvenirs. The bazaars are a great way to experience the city's culture and learn about its history. Some of the most popular bazaars in Jaipur are the Jore Bazaar, Bapu Bazaar, and the Tripolia Bazaar. Jore Bazaar is known for its jewelry, including precious and semi-precious stones, silver, and gold. Bapu Bazaar is known for its textiles, including block print fabrics, embroidered textiles, and hand-woven saris. But the one we felt was the most interesting was the Tripoli Bazaar. It is known for its colorful bangles, which come in a variety of colors and designs. I found the most beautiful bangles I wore all throughout my time in India from the friendliest local shop owners. Plus, you can see how they make them right in front of you. So cool. Other popular bazaars in Jaipur include the Chenpol Bazaar, which is known for its marble structures and wooden handicrafts, and Nehru Bazaar, which is known for its spices and teas. Pro tip, when shopping in Jaipur's bazaars, you are able to negotiate prices with the vendors. Depending on the item you're bargaining for, we found it's pretty typical to get about 20% off or even more sometimes, unless it's food where that's a fixed price. Next up is Pana Mina Kakund. This is a hidden gem that can easily be missed if you don't have a great guide like we did. This unique step wall is considered an architectural marvel with its symmetrical design. It's built in a way that the stairs on one side mirror the stairs on the opposite side, creating a perfect reflection. The step wall was built during the 16th century and is made up of eight levels of stairs, with each level providing a different perspective of the step well. The stairs are designed in a way that the sunlight reflects on the water at different angles, creating a mesmerizing play of light and shadow at different times of the day. Finding the Panamina Kakund isn't easy. You have to access it from a small alleyway within the town surrounding the amber fort, so having a good guide is very important. Panamina Kakund is open from sunrise to sunset and free to visit. If you're looking for the best pictures, then we recommend coming at sunrise. You should expect to spend about 30 minutes here as the stairs are the only attraction. Number seven is Jaipur Street Food. If you're like us and love to dive into the delicious world of street food, then Jaipur will leave your taste buds craving for more. Every corner is filled with enticing aromas and flavors of local delicacies that you really just can't find anywhere else. From staples like savory deep fried piaz and Rajasthani katori to something spicy and tangy like pani puri to authentic masala chai cooked over a coal fire. There's really something for everyone in Jaipur's street food scene. So if your taste buds are looking for an adventure, check out our video on the most unique Indian street food tour where we not only tried delicious food, but we also got pulled into some memorable experiences with the friendly locals along the way. Next up is the Jal Mahal, also known as the Water Palace. And it's a beautiful building located in the middle of Man Sagar Lake in Jaipur. Built during the 18th century as a hunting lodge and a retreat for the rulers of Jaipur, it's a stunning example of Rajput and Mughal architecture. The palace itself is a five-story building with four floors submerged in water, and only the top floor is visible above the water level. The palace's unique location in the middle of the lake adds to its charm and makes it one of the most photographed monuments in Jaipur. The best time to visit the Jal Mahal is during sunrise or sunset, when the palace reflects the colors of the sky, creating an amazing photo opportunity. And there's no entrance fee to the view from the lake shore, which is awesome. 
Next up, experiencing a carpet show. If you're into learning about unique handicrafts like we are, then you won't want to miss a carpet show to see how Jaipur's world-famous hand-knotted carpets are made. The process of making their signature hand-knotted carpet is time-consuming and requires decades of skill and patience as some carpets can take over a year to finish. But the end result is nothing short of amazing. A beautiful silk or camel hair carpet that is not only a work of art, but also a functional, durable piece that can be used to decorate your home. If you want to experience a carpet show from the only shop in Jaipur that holds a Guinness Book of World Record for the quality of their carpets, then we recommend stopping by Shani Carpet and Textiles. Their staff are super friendly and they can give you a free, in-depth demonstration of how their carpets are made. It was an eye-opening experience to say the least. At number 10, but certainly not least, is seeing Jaipur's gemstones. Jaipur is known for producing some of the world's finest gemstones. It has been the center of gem trade for centuries and its expertise in gem cutting and polishing is world renowned. If you want to see this process in action like we did, we recommend visiting one of the many gemstone shops in Jaipur where you can see a free demonstration on how they're cut and polished by hand to become what you see in your jewelry today. Jaipur is full of treasures and gemstones and it's a great place to find something unique if you're in the market for some new jewelry. Jaipur, the pink city of India, is an incredible place that offers a blend of rich history, vibrant culture, and breathtaking architecture. From exploring magnificent palaces to shopping in the colorful bazaars, there is so much to discover and experience in Jaipur. I hope this guide gives you a glimpse into the spirit of India and its wonderful people of Jaipur. Until next time, fellow travelers.